Okay, I got the cylinder head off and uh, laying here. You can see. See, blew out those three. I don't know why. They, the bolts were were tight, but it didn't didn't like it. Apparently, I'll have to check my head here to make sure I don't have a warp in it or something. But uh, yeah, it <laughs> it blew them right out, and unfortunately, I didn't I didn't I can't find them anyway. I don't don't see them any extras. So um, tomorrow I will be putting the high speed spindle back on my uh, NC mill, and I'm gonna cut out a bunch of these. Uh, well, at least at least another an extra set. At least uh, three of them, maybe four or five. We'll see. I see what I got material for. I have a bu I have a bunch of extra. And uh, what I do when I when I cut these out is I get that high speed and I got a little tiny cutter and I mill the holes. I don't drill anything. It, it's all it's all done with an end mill with a little end mill. So I have a fixture that I've got a plate that goes over top, pinches the material, and it. And it goes around and does all, it does everything, but I'll have to dig that out and reset it up and and uh, cut some. It uh, I don't think that this is is uh, uneven or anything. I don't understand why it done that, but. Yeah, I thought I was just starting to make some good headway too. I do see a little bit of a score mark in my cylinder there. That one's that one's nice and clean. I I'll, I'll have to check everything out here. Um, anyway, uh, I will be making uh, head gaskets the way it looks. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.